Morning. Morning. And happy Christmas. And Merry Christmas. Yeah, it's Christmas Day today, the 25th of December. Every year. Yeah, every year. Uh, but this year we're doing our normal thing and yep. we come to this wonderful reservoir in Yorkshire, or Derbyshire actually, called Lady Bower. Lady Bower Reservoir. Very famous reservoir because in the wartime, <laughs> Second World War, uh, the dam busters practiced here to bomb the Hohner and another dam in Germany. I can't remember the name of it now. It's off at the top, top of my tongue. And they practice here very early in the morning, like three o'clock in the morning, in the pitch black dark, to drop the b very famous bouncing bomb, uh, which is another story. Uh, I actually met the guy that invented the bouncing bomb. He's long since passed away now, but what an interesting guy. Um, uh, and they practiced here, and some of the locals, I remember they had told me dad when he was a young man that it, they didn't know, it was all top secret, the RAF flew these Lancaster bombers over here, squadron, at three o'clock in the morning at the rooftop height, knocking all the aerials, television aerials off the roof, I'm sure, but it got people out of bed and people, you know, ran down to the local police station saying, what's going on? The Germans are here. And it was the RAF practicing to uh, bomb the Myrna and uh, Hohner Dam in, uh, in Germany. Um, a dreadful thing to do, but the thing is, Hitler was certainly uh, devastating Europe at the time. So we're going to walk round that dam today because it's a wonderful place to be. It's a wonderful dam anyway. It's got loads of water in it. We've had lots of rain and it supplies most of Derbyshire or all of Derbyshire uh, with their water requirements. Quite amazing. Beautiful place to be. Uh, it's autumn time or winter, winter time. So there's no, no, hardly any green on the, on the trees. So it's quite different to when we come in the summer. I hope you enjoy. Bye. See you soon. Bye. So we're at Lady Bower Reservoir, Derwent Reservoir and Howden Reservoir. There's three reservoirs here and three dams. Um, this is Fair Holmes Visitor Centre. It's a lovely place. There's car parking, there's a shop, there's toilets. Um, so you've got all the facilities you need. At the moment, it's £3.50 for two hours and it's £6 to park for the whole day. So, and there's so many walking trails that you can do from here. You can spend the whole day walking and you'd, you'd never get bored. So say it's Christmas day and we're off on our adventure. So I'm just gonna stop the camera, turn it around and show you the visitor centre. So this is Fair Homes Visitor Centre and there are your toilets. Um, there is an actual shop as well and a little sort of cafe that you can't sit in and eat but it sells bacon rolls and jacket potatoes and there's a little bit of a history to this place and it actually gives you the story from the dam builders to the dam busters and it just tells you the story of this place so and it's also a little shelter in case it rains and you can sit and while away the day so i'm not too sure bob's playing with his phone and there's also an awful lot of wildlife here there's normally hundreds of ducks, but I can't see one duck today. Let's just go for a walk. And as you can see, it's about 8.30 on Christmas Day and that's how many cars are in the car park. There's different trails you can do as well but we're not going to follow any of them. We're just going to go for a walk and see where we end up. I can't think of a better way personally to spend Christmas Day and we come here quite often on Christmas Day, well ever since I've moved up here anyway. There's some beautiful trails around here 
and lots of sounds of running water uh, and it's quite warm for Christmas Day. We've had warm Christmas days before but this is great. We came here one Christmas day a few years ago and I couldn't feel my nose or my ears or anything else really so we left. <laughs> we went back home yeah. to a nice a wood fire. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> ho, ho, ho! And a bottle of rum. No, it's that's been wrong. And, it's been and gone. <laughs> well, he never came to my house. Yeah, well, he left me lots I'm of presents. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for my presents. <laughs> I know they're hidden very well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I know I've got a big one somewhere. I'm going to find it. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really lovely here. And there's about five cars in the car park. We came here really early. What time was? What time is it now? It's uh, about nine a.m. now, uh, but we got here probably about seven something. Yeah, so about nearly eight o'clock. Yeah. About five cars in the car park, so you really do feel like you're on your own, which is great. Right, I'm just going to stop that. I'm just going to stop and turn it around again because you need to see something. So we're actually walking now, and we're approaching. Derwent Dam, which is the dam that separates Lady Bower Reservoir to, ha to Derwent Reservoir. And as you can see, we've had so much rain recently, I mean torrential rain, that the overspill is spilling. And as you can see, it's absolutely gushing down. It's like a, well, it's like a cascade. just love this sound yeah. although it does make me want to go somewhere now isn't that just magnificent I mean sometimes you get it and it's just like trickling over but it is actually gushing over this morning and the noise is very loud you can actually hear it from the car park about 1500 meters away Lady Bower Dam just down the road there, uh, when they built that they had to, it was obviously a, a natural um, dam or river here, uh, but they flooded a village and had to get the villagers to move out of the village. But sometimes when you get low water and not much rain, you can still see the spire of the old church sticking out of the, of the water down at the dam. Ashopton. Ashopton, yeah. So there's old buildings there, the, the old school, underneath the water, because when they flooded it, they just didn't knock the buildings down, they just, just flooded the valley. Um, lots of history here, lots of history, but that's UK history here and the rest of Europe, unbelievable medieval history, before even the dam was built. Amazing. Well, as we said, there's a few trails you can walk. I think they're actually highlighting here one that's called Lady Bower and the Lost Village Trail and that's the Ash Hopton village that was submerged and then you've got the Derwent and Howden Slippery Stones Trail and the Valley of the Dams Trail which I take it is the Dam Busters so we're just going to have a walk along here and see where we get to
think there's anybody at home. No, I don't think so. And look at the workmanship that just went into this. That's a good old strong door on there, isn't yeah. it? It's very like a, a medieval castle. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Merry Christmas sheep and what have you got coming today? That bloody it. Yeah, can you imagine that would have been really hard, wouldn't it? Yeah. Not to live on side, isn't it? Not to live on really, isn't it? Yeah. Tin was it called Tin Town? Something like that. Tin Town, because that's over the other side yeah. of the reservoir and up the road. Tin something. I'm, tin Town's in my head. Because yeah. what was that little dog? There's a little um, memorial to a dog up there that waited by its... Oh, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. There was a memorial stone for a little dog. Yeah. But I'm sure it's Tin Town. It's beautiful here, isn't it? It is, yeah. Really, really beautiful. Yeah. That's definitely got some age to it, that wall, yeah. hasn't it? I always look at the walls here in Yorkshire because they are hundreds and thousands of years old. I don't think they are thousands of years old, these ones here, but they're certainly many hundreds. Yeah. They've certainly seen some history anyway. Yeah. Yeah. How privileged must you be to live here and have this on your doorstep? Because it's it's a it's a view you'd never tire of. Yeah. You can't tire of this. Certainly gets strand here in the winter if you've got a severe winter. I know in the 60s. And 50s, we had some dreadful winters where I come from, just down the way. And uh, obviously, the local council shifted the snow, and most people in those days shifted the snow to their own property. But here, if you would have been tied up for a long time, probably without electricity as well. Look at this house here, I'm right in the middle of It's dead opposite the the actual dam, the gushing dam. Wow, that's beautiful. So this is the top, that's the top of Derwent Dam. And there are a couple of ducks sleeping up there. And this is Derwent Reservoir. Which, which is right above the cascade of water that we just saw. Yeah, and it just looks so still and lovely. So that's where the cascade of water is gushing down. And it looks so serene this side and you wouldn't believe the way it's gushing over the other side.
you still couldn't want to cycle here because you get a puncture easily on this ground. There's plenty of paths that go off here and go up, up the top. No, that's the other side. Yeah. I always find woods, they're very, um, yeah. very calming. They do say if you're stressed, you should go for a walk in the woods, don't they? Well, they're very neolithic, aren't they? I mean, uh, early man, so there's always forests, and uh, a lot of the forests have been cut back. Yeah. to build towns and meadows and to allow for farming and grazing of cattle and it was well known that uh, England, or England, Scotland, was uh, just, just forest land mm -hmm. with cuttings for roads uh, driven into them over the years and then a, a hamlet, a town and people then, don't forget, chopped wood uh, for building and uh, plundered forests for, for burning, keeping warm in the winter for cooking, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I love the way when you see yeah. all those um, Root. roots. Yeah. I know. It all... It's just quite, it is, it's amazing, isn't it? See, there's, there's a walkway there. See? No cyclists. But that, that takes you somewhere. You could spend days and days here and never walk the same path. And that take, I think you just got to follow it all the way up there. And I love all these little bits of like waters that just all comes in off the hills. Yeah, that's just gorgeous. Look at that gate up there, can you see it? So obviously that's where the path takes you and then you obviously go in there and you make your way up to the top. See, we're not the only ones. That, that, oh, there's people coming this way now. Yeah, people have got up. So we're not the only ones up and about this morning. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you all having for dinner today, or Christmas lunch, but we've got a picnic. So, what we got in our sandwiches? I, we have got chicken and stuffing and cranberry. Mm -hmm. We have got ham and mustard. Lovely. And we got ham and mustard. Fantastic. Um, yeah, we've got some crisps and some other tasty treats. And um, can't think of anything else I'd rather do on Christmas Day, to tell the truth. We don't need flash restaurants. No. We don't need uh, expensive liquor. We're trying to look after our livers Ooh. and uh, trying to look after my weight. That's the most difficult thing. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you know, we're trying to get out walking. Uh, age is upon us. You and, speak for yourself. Uh, yeah, and uh, we just don't enjoy the British countryside. We enjoy the Four Seasons and the animals. We don't mean Vivaldi. And the, yeah, and the flowers <laughs> and the fauna, whatever it is, and um, flower and fauna. Yeah, fauna and, and dogs and cats and geese and ducks. And we like talking to people, uh, the people that don't brag, things like that. <laughs> we've met some very nice people this morning as we've been walking. Um, most of the people have got dogs, yeah. but that's nice because we don't have one of our own. But we get to stroke other people, which is all very yeah. good. I mean, these reservoirs are vast, aren't they? They really are quite big. I think Lady Bow's the actual biggest, followed by Derwent, and I think Howden is the smallest one out of the three.
Isn't this view just stunning? Absolutely stunning. Half nine, Christmas day morning. In High Peak, beautiful. So we're on our way to Howden Dam now, and uh, this is what's behind us. Yeah, and then we'll just turn the camera around and let you see what's around the other side, where we're going to, where we're aiming to. It's quite beautiful here. There you go, that's where we're heading to. I'll just zoom in. And there you've got another dam there. You can see why it was a very strategic place for the dam busters to come down here uh, with their aircraft to practice a bombing run. Absolutely unbelievable. But a pleasant walk to do on Christmas Day, sober. <laughs> or any time of the year sober. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Well, we just met the most amazing man and his dog. Yeah, didn't, didn't think about that. Yeah, he had a lovely border collie called Paddy. Gorgeous dog, lovely man, lovely man. You do meet some lovely people when you walk in. It's lovely here. Oh, it's just round, that's just there, isn't it? These bridges that are here, that have been built, they're probably the same age as the dams, oh, aren't absolutely. they? Yeah. So that's 1902 to 1925. Yeah, doesn't have that little doorway like we saw. Does it? Oh, right. Someone's having to sit down there. Well, oh, that's that sort of husky dog. So this is Howden Dam. So we've walked from Derwent Dam to Howden Dam and um, as you can see, Durham Reservoir is quite low now. And then 
we're nearly to Halden Reservoir. Right. Okay. So we've walked about five and a half, six miles and we're on our way back to the van, back to the visitor centre and we're going to have our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 